Hi guys, Glory Hunter back with, well, a bit of everything. So we've got a trip down to Leeds, um, visiting various shops on one day, uh, going to arcade club, going to the Leeds game market, uh, going to a car boot, all over the weekend. Um, so yeah, quite a bit to go through, a few pickups, a couple of decent bits. Uh, quite a bit of OG Xbox to fill out that collection, uh, boosting that up. And yeah, so, busy weekend. Hope everybody is well. Didn't upload previous week, um, just busy. A um, lot to get through, a uh, lot to do. And uh, as Lewis can probably uh, testify, the games room is not in the best of shape at the minute because I want a bit of a change around. It's a bit of a mess, a lot to sort out. Um, Lewis did come round. Uh, after we got back from Leeds to have a look, uh, that's Wish Wash, and uh, yeah, I think he can back me up in saying it needs a bit of a clearing and a sorting out, which I'm trying to get through. Um, but yeah, first person to visit the game room, so yeah, that's Lewis, and it was Lewis uh, and Amanda that took us down to Leeds on the Saturday. Uh, we went down, Lewis and Amanda, and myself and my missus. Um, went down really early in the morning, visited around Pontefract and a few of the shops around there, mainly the, um, where did we go first, console yourself, and then visited the local kind of charity shops, um, cash converters, generators, and that kind of stuff, and um, had a bit of a gander around, and then over to the hotel to book in, drop our bags off, and then walk down to Arcade Club, had a fantastic day uh, down at Arcade Club, absolutely amazing. Didn't get any footage of the whole weekend, even though I took my camera, just didn't feel like it, just was enjoying the weekend, um, spending time with Lewis and Amanda, having a good just chat and being in their company and just playing some amazing games at Arcade Club and just really just enjoying it and soaking up the atmosphere and yeah, just having a nice weekend out really. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic place. The new arcade club in Leeds. Uh, three floors on this one. And yeah, it was just absolutely amazing. But we'll get more to that. It's just a breakdown of what's coming in the video. And then, yeah, after that, uh, the arcade club obviously went back to the hotel. And then me and Lewis got up nice and early to visit a local car boot, which wasn't too far away. Hit that up. And then over to the games market in Leeds, which was my first time there. Um... And yeah, got a couple more bits from there, and then went into the, the kind of local town and visited the CX game and a few other bits while we were there as well before heading back. So anyway, that's what's to come. So like I say, visited quite a few few things. So we'll get through what we actually did, shall we? So like I say, uh, as soon as we got down to Pontefract to start off with, we visited Console Yourself, somewhere I've heard a few people talk about and wanted to visit. Um, so yeah, we nipped in there first. And I managed to get myself five OG titles for the collection. So yeah, pretty good going to be fair. Uh, the first one for £8 in absolutely fantastic condition. Nice, almost brand new case on this one. Even has the, the seal still on it. It's not sealed, it has been broken, but it is all there. So for £8 we've got the Animaniacs, the Great Edgar Hunt. One that I think I've only seen once before, probably like a Doncaster or something. But this is in absolutely fantastic condition. Nice flat manual, great disc. Um, yeah, not played yet, obviously it's based on the Animaniacs. Uh, I don't even know what kind of game it is. I presume some kind of platformer, 3D platforming game. Um, yeah, great condition on that one. The shop itself wasn't too bad. A decent size, decent amount of stock, some really good stuff in there, in the cabinets and stuff. Uh, but I'm pretty sure these were the only ones that I needed for the collection. I don't think I left any behind that I could think of. Um, second up, for £4, we got Poyu Pop Fever. Again, one I've only seen once before, again, I think at Doncaster. Um, again, pretty good condition on this one. So yeah, that'll be going in to the collection. Some kind of, um, it almost looks like a Buster Move kind of game, looking at the back. So I'm guessing it plays a bit like that. I don't know if we can focus on them. 
So yeah, it looks like that kind of game. So we'll definitely give that a go. From Team Sonic and Sega as well. So should be alright. Next up, one never seen or heard of before. Probably absolute trash. It was £3. An exclusive Xbox game though. Bicycle Casino. Including Texas Hold'em. Yeah, a casino game, card games, like I says, Texas sold them on there. Slot machines, um, roulette, poker. Oh, okay, I'll choose from over 500 different games. 500 different games? Yeah, he says that. 500 different game variations. So, Texas sold them, Keno, never heard of, blackjack, roulette, craps, slots, and video slots, and many more. I have a browse on that, it's interesting. Five pff, seems a bit ridiculous. Anyway, next up for two quid, we got Powdrome. For the OG, it looks kind of like a wipeout um, type game. Again, really good condition. Nice manual on this one. It says on the front, this is the fastest game we've ever played from the Xbox original magazine. Uh, one to four players. Yeah, it just looks a bit like a wipeout kind of type style game. Another one I don't think I've come across as yet. Um, I actually came across it later on in another shop, which it was actually a lot more. So, two quid. We've got Mike Tyson Heavyweight Boxing. There we are. And again, not too bad a condition on that one. So, another one for the OG. So, there's our front of there. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. Five OG Xbox games from Console Yourself in Pontefract. Then, was that all we got from there? Yeah, I think these were from Winner. I think that was all we got from there. Then we nipped over, where was it? Somewhere else in Leeds. I don't know. Castleford, it says on this one. So I guess we went to Castleford. So on the way, again, to the hotel, went through Castleford. So we dropped off there and had a look around there, kind of town. And yeah, we've got a few bits from this one actually. So the first one we've seen as we were driving through and then we found a car park, we're like, oh, we'll park up and go visit that store, it looks all right. Was Electric Town in Castleford. And I found one OG title that I needed, but it is actually quite a relatively hard one to find. Um, although I did see it at um, the Leeds Games Fair. But again, it was going for a little bit more than what I paid for this one, I think. Um, it got it for about, I think it's going rate, uh, maybe slightly under, but 11 99 we got Tim Burns, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogles Revenge. So yeah, a little kind of difficult to find this one, um, at least has been for me. Really good condition, nice flat manual, don't even look like it's been touched. And yeah, so obviously based on The Nightmare Before Christmas, I guess, uh, looking at it again, some kind of platforming game, Probably will give that a go at some point just to check it out. But yeah, 11 99 on that one. Not too bad. Then, while we're there, nipped into the cash converters. And in all these shops, like the charity shops, like that, me and Lewis did find a handful of bits each. So we kind of, you know, managed to find a few bits each, which was nice. And split the, the pickings, as it were. And looking out for stuff for each other as well, seeing if what we needed. But we picked up this one for 360. 99p Dynasty Warriors 6 Which I think we did check and it actually trades in for a bit more, but I need it for the collection it Does have the registration card there as well as the manual which we'll put in front Which is a nice thick manual on this one and pretty good condition So we'll add that into that collection as well as this one for 99p again I think it trades in for a bit more um, But it's Minecraft story mode However, this is the season pass it did, so it doesn't have all the episodes on here. It just has the first episode on, which I have got because it was free and downloaded it. But this does unlock all the other episodes, which I've not got yet, but you do need to download them. So we'll be downloading, uh, downloading them straight away and uh, finishing the story. I don't really care for Minecraft much, but these Telltale game versions uh, with the kind of story base can be quite fun. And they're easy achievements, so we'll download them and go through that. And I'll just keep that for hell of it, I guess. Just to have it in that collection. Then, 
do, 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 we went to so that was cash converts so this must have been the cash generators I believe again I found a couple more 360 titles uh, which are slightly uncommon I think I don't see them that often uh, the first one fatal in I don't even know how to pronounce that in inerta I guess um, again, looks almost like a kind of wipeout style racer game, uh, and that was just a quid. So that was actually a pretty good price on that. It goes through a bit more. Again, great condition on that one. And the other one we picked up again, slightly uncommon, uh, just for a quid again, even though it does sell for a couple of quid. Fairy Tale Fights on the 360, and again, looking at this, it almost looks like. One of the free play games that I played, which is um, completely eluding me now. What's it called? Completely forgot. I'll probably put a, a thing down here if I remember. But anyway, uh, it kind of looks like a bit of fun. So we'll give that a go. Don't know if I showed you this. The manual has a little bit of dog earring in one of the corners. But for a quid, not too bad on that one. Then I think the kind of steel that I found there. Uh, for the Xbox One, we found Dark Souls 3, and this was up at £7.99, I think, looking at it, this traded in for about £10, and they sell it for about £15, so I got it for like, half price, so yeah, bargain on that, and the bonus with this one as well, and the absolute clincher of me picking it up, good condition, but it does have the uh, Prima Starter Guide in there as well, the kind of mini strategy guide, that was all in there, and the code, uh, for the Dark Souls 1, which I already have, but you know, it's nice to have the code in there to make it complete, as well as that extra piece of paper that's in there as well. Um, but yeah, having that kind of mini guide was quite nice. Uh, it is a game I want to play. Uh, I did enjoy the first two, even though I've not finished them. Um, I will go through that again, again. I will go through that at some point and play it. So looking forward to giving that a go. That was a nice little bargain on that one. And then Lewis actually found this one for me. I think he'd already got it. Uh, he said it held a relatively good value because it's the last one that they made. And any kind of... I suppose you can count it as sports, but it's not really sports. It's in that kind of vein. Um, but it's the last one of their kind of listings on this on the set. Anyway, for 360 we got WW2K17. So like I say, the last one that they made for the console does have the hologram on there and the little sticker does have its manual and everything and yeah pick this up for 2 99 but yeah I think it traded in for £8 or it is £8 to buy something like that I can't remember um, yeah a little bit of a bargain on that one and it's one of them where the price might go up because like I say it's the last one that they made for the console anyway that was it for Calsford and around that uh, town then we headed over to uh, our Premier Inn to book in and get sorted for the night So like I say went over to arcade club absolutely fantastic um, So I'd already got my eye on a few things that I wanted to play We got there. I think it was getting late because we're messing about in all them shops and finding other shops to go in like cherry shops and what have you And we got there I think about two by the time we'd walked down there as well memory serves I'm not sure it was around two o'clock um, so yeah got straight in straight away obviously the house of the dead five is near the doorway so me and Lewis has already said we're definitely getting on that uh, which we did at some point in the day there was always a kind of a queue for it but they do limit even though if it's on free play there is a sign up saying you know it's a really popular game please limit yourself to two continues so the turnaround's a bit faster um, so yeah we didn't actually get to complete it and then two continues. I think Lewis died relatively early or mid on and I was holding my own for quite a while actually. Got through it quite a bit and then me and the missus had to go on it later on as well. So got you get different paths so we chose different paths so get experience. Quite a bit of the game. Absolutely fantastic game. Like so good. You get a double ended machine gun and you can also pick two extra weapons to take with you on your, on your journey and switch between them as you go. Some great weapons that you can have. Um, but yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. So the bottom floor is kind of more modern-ish stuff and all the Japanese kind of games and stuff they've got. Then there's a um, 
kind of stairway that goes up to almost like a balcony floor, uh, but it's quite big. And that's got all your retro stuff up there. Uh, another little room with some gun games in, a section of fighting games to one side, and then, like I said, just all your retro games and stuff up there. It's absolutely fantastic. Then there's another kind of stairwell that goes up to the top floor, and that again has a lot of modern stuff. Uh, so there's a room for like uh, Fortnite and that kind of stuff. Um, some arcade cabs up there as well, some more retro ones. Uh, there's a switch hooked up to a massive TV with, I think, FIFA and Smash Bros on it. Uh, then they've got all the VR stuff, they've got three VR sets, one had Super Hot on, one had Beat Saber on which had a, quite a few goes on, uh, absolutely loving that, and uh, some kind of first person gun game on it, as well as a driving sim um, VR as well, so there's actually four VRs now I think of it, I think three were Oculus Rift and one was PS VR, and then down the little corridor there's an over 18 section, um, which has a load of more consoles and PCs set up, so a couple of PS4s, a couple of Xbox Ones, they were running well, various games, mainly Gears 5 and Borderlands 3, I think, had just come out. So that was actually on there. Um, a couple of little arcade cabs again. Another big Switch loadout with various games on. We did, all four of us, have a go on um, Mario Kart 8, I think it was. Or 10, I don't know, whatever number it we're on. And then, yeah, a couple of PC monitors set up with things like... Um, Rocket League, I think, and PUBG, and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, yeah, absolutely fantastic place. Something there for everybody. Just, you could spend the whole day there. It was open, we went on the Saturday, obviously, so it was opened at 11 till 11 at night. And it's just one price for all floors just to go in and have as long as you want. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Great prices on food and drink there as well. We did have pizzas and many, many drinks between us. Uh, had some good fun on the dancing games. Me and Amanda had a dance-off. Me and Lewis had a dance-off. I think Amanda and my missus um, had quite a few games on the dancing game. They were really enjoying that. And yeah, just every gun game that was in there, hit that up. I love me some gun games. Yeah, loads of Point Blank and I think Jurassic World. Uh, forgetting Toll the Time Crisis. Yeah, just absolutely fantastic place. If you get a chance, go down and check it. I've watched a few videos on YouTube and it just doesn't do it justice. It's just, it is a really big place with loads to do. Highly recommend going down there and checking that out. We will be going back, and when we go back, I'll probably try and get some footage of that. So yeah, at the end of the night, we stumbled our way back to the hotel, and then me and Louis had already said we'll go to the car boot in the morning. We left the gals uh, in bed, sort their stuff. They weren't really up for going. Uh, we did leave, I think it was about 6 o'clock, um, which doesn't sound too bad for a car boot, but after you've been out, all night and getting back late. Yeah, I had about four, maybe four hours sleep um, or rest. Um, yeah, we got to the car boot. So me and Lewis hit that up. We did find a few bits each. It wasn't massive. It was an okay size. There wasn't much there at all, really. And there was a lot of vultures just raiding people's boots. As soon as the car pulled up, they were practically opening their boot and just pulling stuff out and people just stand at the side of the cars and let these guys just pull stuff out the boot for them it was crazy just absolutely crazy but yeah we did find a few bits each um nothing nothing great at all by any means um but yeah so one thing i did get i've been after for a little while i keep coming across a figure but it's never complete but i did find a complete figure um of one of the mario figs from uh, McDonald's with his boomerang can never find the bloody boomerang and it's still in its paper packaging or plastic packaging so that completes another one of my Mario sets and that was like 50p so yeah that's all done happy to go in <laughs> just to get that um, then a couple of games folk found this on the first start at the start actually one I just, again just need for the collection got it for a pound although it is a, a few quid game I think so Burnout Revenge do a lot of Burnout games. Um, it had an extra manual for GTA 5 in there for some reason as well. Let me take that out. Uh, but yeah, other than the sticker that's on it, which does look like it will come off quite easy, really good condition. So that will be going into the collection. So I got it for a quid. I think it's like a four or five pound game, maybe a bit more. It does trade in for a bit more, but we'll be keeping it. The only other gaming related stuff we got were these four games. And she wanted a pound for all four. 
Um, however, when I opened the dirt one, which is the one I wanted, it didn't have the disc in. So it's just the case. Uh, so I just offered her 50p for the four and she took it. She just wanted to get rid. But they are literally worth nothing. So yeah, got the dirt one, like I say, just complete. Just need to find the disc for that one. Copy of Connect Adventures, absolutely worthless. Just case replacements at this stage. Dance Central, again, case replacement. And Dance Central 2, case replacement. So I paid 50p for the four. I think them two I could trade in. I think it's like 70 or 80p. Um, so after the case replacements, I will make a few pence on it at least. So I've not actually lost anything. Um, the Connect Adventures is worthless. If anyone does need it, I know a few people are going for the Connect. Um, collection most people will probably have it because it is so cheap if anyone doesn't have it and wants it let me know I will, I've got two copies spare I'll be bringing them to the next games fair or any games fair that anyone can make and wants they'll be coming if anyone wants any of them actually let me know it's not worth trading them in so I'll just bring them along you can have them um, but there are a chance that I will be swapping the cases out although I think the only one that I had that was broken I've already swapped the case out for so I don't know anyone wants them let me know rabbiting on now so let's keep them to one side then the only other bits we've got one for my steelbook collection <coughs> excuse me let's get a drink one for my steelbook collection which i've actually not shown my steelbooks for a little while i picked quite a few up i keep forgetting because they're downstairs i have the film but not the steelbook version terminator salvation nice little steelbook not bad condition as well. I think she wanted £1.50 for it. So I was like, yeah, I'll have that for one fifty steel book. Probably trade it in for more, but I like my steel books. That will be staying. Then the only other thing I got for pure credit, the Sopranos complete collection on DVD. Um he wanted four quid for it. I tried to get him down to three, wasn't having it. So yeah, got it for four quid. It trades in I think for eleven. So yeah, nice bit of credit on that. That'll be going straight in. Plus I have a voucher for an extra pound credit. So 12 quid credit on that. That'll get me some OG games. So that is that. That was the booter. Like I say, Lewis picked up a little handful of stuff as well. Again, nothing amazing. Although I did get a couple of bits actually with some nice credit on them. Um, but go watch his video to see what he got. Little plug for you there, mate. Um, not that you need it. And that was it for the booter, so we got back, changed, ready, all that kind of stuff, and then headed over to the Leeds Games Market. My first time going there, uh, after a little walk, because we parked a little way away. We got in there not long after opening, I don't think it was. Um, yeah, it was alright. Um, wasn't massive. It kind of cramped. As, I mean, it wasn't mega busy Lewis said he has been when it, you can't even move um you could move you could walk around and have a look it was just like yeah it was all right um just yeah not a massive venue I don't think the venue's great they set out in one I think three kind of main rooms and the corridor that split the rooms um there's <clears throat> quite a few sellers there just quite a bit of stuff I think I was still a bit just tired um, but I was trying to focus on stuff, picked up a few bits. Um, yeah, it was just, it was alright. Personally, I'd prefer just to go to somewhere like uh, Doncaster or something like that, where it's just more, it's bigger, it's more open, and yeah, it's just, it was okay. Um, but like I say, I picked up a couple of bits, so let's take a look at what we got, shall we? That's me rabbiting on and not keeping an eye on the timer again. So yeah, like I say, we got three titles from the market, all OG, so more for that OG collection. Uh, first one, these are, I should have took these out of the plastic wrappers while I was waiting, while the camera died, really, shouldn't I? So let's get these out quick. Uh, got these from the same seller, actually, these two. Ooh, I'm not gonna say it was, but it was actually quite rude. And I don't think I'll be buying from there again. Um, it does go to quite a few of the um, markets. But yeah, just, I don't know. Anyway, we've got these two. Uh, first one, Zapper 
for a fiver. A wicked cricket. Not bad condition. See that manual there. Um, yeah, platform, 3D platformer game. I will give that a go. It looks kind of fun. It might be all right. Let's pop that over there. And then one that I thought I actually had, or at least one of the games, but turns out I don't. Uh, for a tenner, which a little bit high, I think, but just needed it. I wanted to pick some up while I were there. And to be fair, it's an absolutely, I would say, almost mint condition. If you can, yeah, the case is nice and new and shiny. It's Cow the Kangaroo Round 2. And like I say, just absolutely fantastic condition on that one. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd grab it. Again, looks kind of like a third person um, platforming game on the vein of kind of like Crash Bandicoot, that kind of stuff. Uh, it was out for multiple systems. I think, having a quick look when I was checking price and stuff, I think the first one came out on the Dreamcast, and maybe only the Dreamcast, I'm not sure. And the second one, obviously on most consoles, and I'm not sure, there might be a third one as well, I'm not sure. I do need to double check that. But anyway, that one's now in the set. Then, um, this game I've needed for a little while, it's one of the last kind of more heavy hitting titles that I needed. Um, I've seen it a couple of times, just trying to find it for a good price. There was two copies there. Uh, this one, one that was £28, which was from the guy I got them from, but he wouldn't move on it. Um, he wouldn't move on any of them prices either. Um, <coughs> but they got this one from Gold Saucer Games, who I visit many times at um, Doncaster and stuff and get a bit for. He had this up at 30 but he did it me for 25 So pretty good price on this, to be fair. Psychonauts! Finally, on the OG, and it's in good condition, really good condition. Um, it's a game a lot of people rave about. I know they're making a sequel, I believe, now for the Xbox One. Um, Tim Schafer game, if I'm not mistaken. Double Fine Studios, yeah. Um, yeah, from Tim Schafer, there we are. Creator of Grim Fandango and Day of the Tentacle. Um, never played it, but I've heard that it is a really good game. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely be getting onto that. Finally got it in the collection, Psychonauts. Then, I'm just going to pop them back down there. The only other bits we got from the market, there really wasn't much for me there. I did find a few 360 titles that I wanted, but they were a bit, for me, overpriced. I can get them a lot cheaper, the 360. You know, the prices aren't mental. Um, so I held out on them and... Yeah, we weren't even there long, maybe an hour or two, and then decided to go into the local town and visit the CX stuff. Anyway, getting ahead of myself. The other bits that I got from there, there was a stall selling some like little training cards, and stickers and bits and bobs. And yeah, I thought I'd grab some of these. So the official Mario stickers, obviously still sealed in their packets. Um, I've recently found out all my old sticker books uh, that were at my parents because they're having a bit of a clear out and got them over and I've got the sticker book for the Mario um, or the Nintendo uh, sticker book and looking through it I didn't have that many stickers I probably only had two or three packets worth maybe four so I thought I'm going to grab some of these and fill it out a bit more um, so I grabbed I think it was 20 packets of these and they were a quid each it had some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trading cards as well. The original um, cartoon series one, which I have a full set of, so I didn't get any of them. Um, but it had some of the Turtles 2 cards as well, and I can't remember if I had a full set. I know I've nicked, if not, I've got a nearly a full set. Um, so I picked some of these up as well. So I've got five of them. They were a pound each, so it should have been 25. Um, I said we'd do a deal for a multi-deal. He said it depends what you want. So, I've got 25 packets. I said, will you do this 25 for 20 quid? So, five free. He said, yeah, no problem. So, 20 quid for the 25. So, like I say, five of them, they come with eight cards and a sticker and 20 packets of stickers. Now, each pack contains six stickers. I'm going to do a separate video. We're going to open these together 
gonna open up my camera and fill out my sticker book. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned, because I'll probably do that video after this and that'll go up later in the week. Um, but something I'm excited to, to try out, opening fresh packs and filling out that sticker book. So that should be pretty cool. Just uh, look out for that video if you're interested. Then like I say, we went into um, the Leeds town, looked in the game, looked in, a, do we look in any charity shops? I can't remember. Maybe only one or two. Um, and over to the CX, which had some pretty decent stuff in there to be fair. I know Lewis got quite a few bits. Um, I only picked up one myself. And I actually, they had two copies of this game. So I seen it first, picked it up so I, I was interested in getting it. But inside the um, the cover was full of mould. Uh, the manual was had a rip out of it. It was just absolutely trashed. Um, so I was joking about it to Lewis. Oh, look at this rare one, mould edition, blah, blah, blah. And put it back because so like, there's no way I'm getting that. Um, and left it, walked off to look at another section of games. Uh, while Lewis was looking at this section of games, which is PS2. And he came over to me and said, there's another copy. Here, have a look at this one. And I was like, all oh, right, great, cool. And this one is near mint. So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely having that. I thought, well, they've got two copies. Obviously, they've got two discs. I'll look at both discs and pick the best one. Expecting one to be good and one to be bad due to the copy of the cases, yeah, condition of the cases. And that was the case. One was battered and one was, again, near mint. So I took that one and made a good copy of Clock Tower 3 on the PS2. So £18. I did have credit, but I'd left it in the car, so I had to buy this with my money. Um, but the credit will go towards other stuff. I've got other stuff to trade in, so I'll get more credit and buy other stuff. I won't bother. £18 not a bad price. Clock Tower 3. It's supposed to be a good series. Do like my survival horror game, so we'll definitely be playing this. Um, and like I say, it is near mint. The guy even left it in his plastic wallet for me. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, just the manual's fantastic on that one. Nice and flat and barely touched. And yeah, there is our disc. Like I say, still in its plastic wallet. So that was pretty cool that he left that. I guess he knew I was some kind of collector. Um, cause we were talking a bit and obviously I wanted to see the condition of the discs. So a PS2 game in the old collection there. And the other place we visited while we were there... Um, in fact, in the CX, they did have the limited edition or collector's edition of God of War uh, for the PS4, which was killing me. I wanted to pick it up, but with me having credit, I didn't want to spend just cash on it. Uh, so I did leave it, and it did look in good condition. I'm kicking myself a little bit for that. Um, but yeah, there was some nice stuff there, actually. After that, on the way back, we just nipped into HMV to have a browse, and I picked up a couple of bits. Because uh, having a sale, their store apparently is closing down, like it said. Um, yeah, pick this up because I've not seen it yet. I've heard mixed reviews. Interested to watch it myself for eight, and it was eight quid for the steel book. So I thought, yeah, I'll add that into the collection. It does have the Blu ray 3D, Blu ray, and digital for eight quid. We've got the Mummy, is the Tom Cruise version, the new one. I know they were supposed to be making this into kind of a, a franchise of different things that are all linked. I don't know if they're still doing that. Um, but yeah, for eight quid, I thought I'd give that a go. Another steel book for the collection as well. And Summit, which is just me, and the missus found me this, and I was like, I'm having that. Absolutely love this back in the day. And just for nostalgia, I want to give this a watch. It is for £2.49 as well. Absolute bargain. DVD, volume one of the real Ghostbusters. That's where it's at. That's where it just all started look at that the original ghostbusters and this contains in volume one 13 episodes i was expecting it to only probably have about four which is the average but yeah full set of volume one with 13 episodes so fantastic a nice little shiny slip cover on that as well so yeah that's pretty cool for 250 you can't go wrong so i'm not leaving that behind love me some ghostbusters um, and then collection videos are hopefully coming soon. I've got another week off at the end of the month, which I might try and get some videos filmed then. But that was our weekend in Leeds of visiting various places and doing stuff. 
absolutely fantastic weekend. Can't thank Lewis and Amanda enough for taking us down there and um, just spending the weekend with us. Just, yeah, it was such a good weekend just to spend with like-minded people as well, talking games, playing games, visiting shops. Me and Lewis had a lot of banter and uh, friendly competition. He's about as competitive as I am, both competitive when playing games and just walking through town, spotting charity shops and kind of running over to be the first one in there to find stuff. It was just a laugh. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, cheers for that, mate. Absolutely great. Um, just checking because I always leave some or forget to mention some, which I probably have, but yeah, they were the pickups. Hope you enjoyed, guys. I can't wait to open these packs. So hope you're interested in that. That video will be coming. Um, and yeah, I've got other videos that I need to get done and up. So if we get back on the train of making some videos for you guys to see. Loads to come. So hope you enjoy, guys. Let me know what you thought about the pickups. Uh, anything good, anything you have, anything you've played, let me know. And I guess we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.